Hello there. Welcome once again to Living on Purpose. My name is Fola Daniel Adelisi and also known as Fola Daniel Speaks. Today, I want to talk to you about appetite for risk taking. Appetite for risk taking. Some people have always viewed risk from the angle of something that is negative. Today, I need to tell you that a risk is not necessarily something that is negative. When they tell you what you're about to do is a risk, it, you need to weigh it yourself. You need to ask yourself, is it a risk that is worth taking? If it is a risk that is worth taking, then you need to go ahead and take that risk. Sometimes a risk is what you need to take for you to succeed. If you don't take that risk, you won't be able to succeed. Some people took the risk of leaving where they were to go into another place and they eventually started succeeding. For anything that you want to do in life, you need to take, in fact, we're constantly taking a risk. So you need to take a risk. Staying at home is a risk. Going out is a risk. Doing anything at all that you do is a risk. The only thing is, do you have the kind of appetite that will help you to succeed in life? Sometimes when you look at the things that you have achieved, you realize that your success is commensurate to the level of risk that you have exposed yourself to. There are times when you can succeed more than you're currently succeeding if only you would be willing to, to expose yourself to more risk. I'm not asking you to take the kinds of dangerous risks that can kill you, that can put your life, you know, that can end your life immediately. That's not the kind of risk I'm talking about. I'm not asking you to take uncalculated risk. But if you ever want to succeed, you need to increase your appetite for risk taking. Increase your appetite to want to go the extra mile. You can't be afraid to go the extra mile if you want to succeed. You can't be afraid to ask questions, to learn about money making, to learn about investment and to be involved in those things if you really want to become big. There will always be a risk for you to take to get to the next level. And so long as you're not willing to take that risk, you will limit yourself. You will not be able to go high. You will not be able to go far. So the level of risk you're willing to take and that you're ready to take determines how well you succeed. That's why I'm saying increase your appetite for risk taking. Increase your appetite for risk taking because it's very pivotal. It's pivotal to your success in life. How much risk are you willing to take? to succeed academically? How much risk are you willing to take to succeed with that business? How much risk are you willing to take to even succeed in your career? It's not easy, it's not convenient sometimes to go for that extra degree, to take that postgraduate course just because you want to gain that promotion, just because you want to go to the next level in your career. But when you take that risk, at the end of the day, you realize that it's worth it. It helps you. So it's important for you to pay attention to take your uh, to taking risk and develop appetite for risk taking those who are not ready to take any kind of risk in life they start slowing down their progress becomes halted they stop making they stop achieving anything tangible but those who are ready and always willing to take a risk they keep going in life the risk that you are ready to take will determine the success that you should expect. If you are not ready to take any level of risk, then don't expect any kind of success. But if you are ready to take another risk, then expect another success. That's how it is. That's how life is. Everything that you do, you would always succeed on the basis of the risk that you have taken or the risk that you are ready and willing to take. But if you are not ready, then forget it. So what is that risk that you should have taken that you haven't taken? What is that risk that you need to take right now and you are afraid to take that risk? Ask yourself, what are the pros and cons of taking this risk? What's the advantage? What's the disadvantage of taking this risk? Is the advantage bigger than the disadvantage? Are the opportunities more than the disadvantages or the limitations? If it's something that you want desperately, then find a way to increase your appetite for risk. Now, I'm not only asking you to increase your appetite for risk. It's important to calculate the kind of risk that you are that you're going to take. Sometimes you can create a soft landing for yourself so that when you take a risk, you don't lose everything. In the business world, people talk about mitigating some risk. If you have seen the risk ahead, then you know what you can do to minimize the consequences of taking that risk. You know some of the things you can put in place so that if anything goes wrong, 
it's not you're not falling flat on your face so ask yourself what do i stand to lose what do i stand to gain is it worth it if you think it's worth it go for it what do i do at the end of this day if i take this risk what is coming to me or what will i be able to achieve and there are times you even have to take the risk on behalf of other people so if you really want to succeed there's something that you must do and that thing is increase your appetite for risk taking go and take a look at everybody who is a billionaire i'm not talking about those who inherited billions i'm talking about those who built a business from scratch and became billionaires there's something about them and it's the fact that they are constantly increasing their appetites for risk taking go and look at entrepreneurs generally anybody who is an entrepreneur must have appetites for risk taking and if you don't want to increase your appetite for risk taking you may not be able to scale your business maybe that's why your business is still in one location when you've been running for the past 20 years and by now you should be in 10 other locations maybe that's why your business is still selling at one outlet serving just a few customers because you don't want to take a risk you are not able to reach out to other people you need to overcome your fears so when we talk about appetite for risk taking another thing we're trying to say is overcome your fears face your fears head on hit them decide on what to do and you realize that sometimes some of those fears are not realistic realistic as some people say your fear is false evidence appearing real so don't allow fear steer you in the face so much so that you're not willing to take any risk make any move branch out build more businesses create more outlets take more degrees make sure that you're willing and ready to do something so long as it is what you have always wanted to do and is going to contribute to your success if you really want to succeed you need to increase your appetite for risk taking. Thank you for listening. Please head on now to www.foladanielspeaks.com and also check out youtube.com forward slash Thank you.